Hey guys, welcome. Today, I'm Nikki with Vapor Honing Technologies. Today, we wanted to target dry blasting. We wanted to have a conversation today about the differences in abrasives. So we have abrasives that are angular, and we also have abrasives that are spherical. Question is, how do you know which one you need to use for your application? So today we use glass bead. We used it in our VH1000 sandblast cabinet. We also used, to show you the angular abrasive, we used a 120 aluminum oxide in a VH2000 sandblast cabinet. We're also going to do before and after surface roughness on this part so that if you have specs, if you have things you need to meet, surface roughnesses you need to um, adhere to, please make sure you let us know. We can definitely measure that for you and also see your best target. In dry blasting, the abrasive that you use can significantly change the results that you receive. This side is aluminum oxide. So when you have an angular abrasive, it's going to etch the surface, create a profile. It's going to remove paint, powder coat, uh, corrosion on the surface. When you have a spherical abrasive like glass bead, which we have on this side, it's going to be more of a finishing type abrasive. It's going to roll over the surface. It's going to be able to give you a really nice finish as opposed to removing corrosion and, and paint and things along those lines. If you're working with delicate surfaces, you're going to want to use the spherical type abrasive like glass beading. Um, that way you're not going to damage the substrate. Take a look, figure out what your application needs to look like, what your end result needs to be. Give us a call if you have any questions. We'd love to help out any way we can with dry blasting. My number is 828-202-5563. Thank you so much.